Alrighty, so I have a pretty exciting update for you guys. What we thought might have been a patio is starting to look a little more building-like. Um, I can't fully confirm if it's going to be a building or not, but the fact that it's also looking like it's going to attach to the Pizza Pizza building and there's utilities coming out of it. You can even see a sewage line with the orange cap on it, the black pipe with the orange cap. Um, I'm being told that's usually used for like sewage or drainage. So that wouldn't really make sense on a patio. So it's it's a little interesting. It's it's even looking like it could be change rooms, um, but we're not quite sure. We're gonna keep an eye on it because it's really interesting. So it's either gonna be an expansion of Pizza Pizza or multiple restaurants now adding other varieties in there um, or a patio, maybe an enclosed patio with timber kits um, or change rooms, again, or restrooms. It, it, we're gonna have to keep an eye. But here you have a water drill truck and a vacuum pulling up, and you're gonna see it pulling into behind Black Hole, the forest back there. Uh, and it also looks like there's been some recent um, clearing of dirt. There used to be, they were, they were depositing dirt from Vortex Hill back there for a bit. There were dirt mounds, and now it's flattened out. They've bulldozed it, um, and now they're going back there and sucking up some of the water. So I don't know if there's going to be work going on back there sometime soon um, or what, but there seems to be a lot of attention and a lot of things going on. And we are in that time frame where if Wonderland was planning something bigger than a flat ride for 2023, you could start seeing um, some work. But this, this specific plot of land, I can't really see being used for anything of importance anytime soon unless it was going to be something for Splashworks, um, like a mini expansion going out that way. But um, to be honest, <laughs> that's so far down the road. They have to work on what they have so far. Um, but yeah, quite interesting. Uh, we'll keep an eye on that as well because it does look like there's been some sort of tree removal, but nothing that would suggest anything going back there. But we'll keep an eye because this was quite interesting to catch on the drone. Um, and I can't see Cedar Fair investing, especially since they had dirt piles back there and they could have just like moved the dirt over the water. That's what's confusing me the most about this area. As you can tell, I'm quite confused by this specific plot of land and I'm going to have to keep an eye on it. So we'll be watching it and we'll be updating you every day if we see anything unique going on back there. But what's really interesting is for the past two to three days now, Leviathan has had iron work going on on it. They've been welding the track in various places all over. Like we're talking extensive welding. Um, not your just your typical like what happened at Behemoth where they welded one part of the track. They are welding very <laughs> large portions of the, the track. Um, and very multiple areas varying across the track as well. There's a flatbed with a lot of metal sitting on it behind those pine trees that you see behind the crane. Um, and this crane uh, would work with a um, cherry picker, a basket, uh, holding people up and they would weld it. It is on site still, so I think the work's going to continue. There's some really expensive stones, what I think for the restaurant area here. As you can tell, they're doing renovations inside Pizza Pizza as well. It's been gutted inside there. So again, very interesting what's going on over here. But um, based off of what we were told from Yukon Striker Media Day way back when, um, that they were interested in turning Splashworks into a very Canadian-themed water park. And this is probably just steps in that direction, very slowly transitioning Splashworks into some sort of Canadian water park kind of theme. And you can tell by the stonework back there and the timber kits wood that that's probably what it's going to end up being. Um, so pretty excited about that. Um, again, these projects seem very last minute, to be honest. I'm not sure this was planned because if you look at the park map, it shows a patio on either end of this building, which again, it still could be, but the utility work coming out of the ground is what's confusing us the most. Um, and the fact that you can see they're going to pour more concrete attaching to the pizza pizza. If you look very closely there where the red tape is surrounding that freshly poured cement. Um, so very interesting. Um, don't know what's happening yet. The map indicates that there's going to be a patio on either side, but this is kind of looking like that maybe isn't going to be the case unless it's going to be a really nice enclosed timber kits kind of design and they're just going to have lighting and fans and stuff like that. But yeah, who knows? Um, I mean, it could end up being cabanas too. I mean, there, there's so many options and it's so hard to pick 
because Wonderland didn't really make any announcements for what was coming in 2022. So we're kind of still waiting on renderings and like more announcements out of the park. But it looks like this was a very big enhancement year, which I'm totally a fan of. In fact, we're even seeing some enhancements over by Action Zone. Um, Action Zone's been sitting dormant for quite some time. It's going to continue to sit dormant until they fill it with a dark ride. We do know, based off of Yukon Striker Media Day, what was communicated with us. And the fact that who communicated this with us was right about this restaurant and its location is probably going to be right about Action Zone as well. So a dark ride will most likely fill it, and it was going to be sooner or later. So I, I still expect that to come in the very near future. Um, it would make sense for Winterfest as well. But anyways, thanks for watching our update today. Hopefully it was action-packed and entertaining. Um, and thanks so much for enjoying the channel and watching. And can't wait to see you guys at the park next weekend. We're literally like 15 days away, maybe? Anyways, thanks so much. Have a good one, guys. Bye.